Hello and welcome. Welcome to part two of my classic bubble tea using this brand, Chatramu Assam Red Tea Leaves. Today, I'm going to show you three different ways, three different flavors. The first method, I'm going to show you how to make using a French press. So for those at home, you can make your classic bubble tea using a regular French press. For the second method, you can use a regular jug, larger one, I'm using a small one here, and using a tea socks strainer. And the third method is for those that have coffee shops that would like to offer classic bubble tea and they have an espresso machine. So I am going to make my drinks in the large cup, which is typically used by bubble tea shops. The larger, the better. So these are 22 ounces and we are going to make three different flavors. The first one we're going to make strawberry milk tea. The second one we're going to make chocolate milk tea using my homemade chocolate syrup and finally we are going to make brown sugar bubble tea so stay tuned until the end of this video clip and don't forget to click that subscribe button let's start with the first method using the french press for this i am going to use two scoops of my tea, two scoops, more than two tablespoons. And into this, I'm going to add one cup of hot water or about 240 milliliters of hot water. And then we are going to infuse the tea for about 15 minutes. I have my brewed tea here using the French press and I'm aiming to get about 200 ml from here. So I only got about 170 and that should be fine. This is a very concentrated tea. Add four tablespoons of your creamer. And because this is a powdered ingredient, stir it. Now to add my strawberry syrup. This is the sweetener. I'm going to use only 45 ml because this is quite sweet. Add some ice. Now we're going to shake. So let's assemble our drink. I'm going to start by putting my tapioca pearls. I'm going to be very generous. I'm putting two scoops of my tapioca pearls in there. Fill it up to the top with ice. Now the advantage of putting the ice later is that your drink will not be diluted. So do not fill your shaker with a lot of ice. So this is your strawberry bubble tea using the French press. Second method, we are going to use the jug and the tea socks strainer. For this, I'm going to use the same amount of tea, two scoops of tea, and then pour one cup or 240 milliliters of hot water. Steep for about 15 minutes. Pour the tea from the jug. I'm just going to pour it into my tea again. And what I got is about 212. Now I'm happy with that. I'm going to use all of that brewed tea there. And then I'm going to add my four tablespoons of creamer. One, two, three, Four. And again, just because this is a powdered ingredient, I'm going to stir, assuming that my tea is still warm. Using the powdered ingredient, you must make sure that your tea is warm. I'm going to put about 45 ml, not a lot, so I'm using the scale to measure. 45 ml because my chocolate syrup is on the sweet side. If you think it's not sweet enough, you can make it up to 60 ml. Okay, so just stir it again. Add ice and shake. Now we are ready to assemble the drinks. So again, we're going to start by adding our black pearls. two scoops of black pearl into my cup and now to pour my chocolate milk tea into the cup. I'm 
And once again, I'm going to fill it with ice to the top. And this is your chocolate milk tea using tea brewed from the tea socks trainer and a pitcher. And for the final process, we are going to use the espresso machine. Using a double basket, fill the basket with one heaping scoop of the tea. Insert the porta filter in the group head, pull about 30 grams of tea and let it bloom. Wait for about 20 to 30 seconds before pulling the rest of your tea. So I'm going to aim for about 200 milliliters of brew tea using the espresso machine. And this time I'm not going to use a shaker, so I'm going to use a tall glass. Put my brew tea there, which is about 200 milliliters. And into this I'm going to add my creamer. One, two, three, and four. Same amount of creamer there. And this time, all I'm going to do is to stir this. Let's assemble our drink. We're going to start with the tapioca pearls or the black pearls at the bottom of our cup. Okay, let's be generous here. And then we are going to add the ice, bake the sides of our cup with the brown sugar. This is 60 ml of brown sugar around the cup. Milk tea into the cup. Top it up with the cream, brown sugar on top. Make sure you put a lot of brown sugar there. Make sure you have brulee ring so you don't burn the edges of your cup. And you have brown sugar creme brulee using tea brewed from the espresso machine. Taste the moment of truth. I am going to try them. They all look absolutely gorgeous. You know, pink and the chocolate there, and of course this deliciously looking brown sugar bubble tea. I'm going to just try all of them. I'm sure they'll be very sweet, but look at that gorgeous pink um, strawberry milk tea. Mm. The taste of the tea is just strong. This is not a paid promotion, but I can tell you the taste is quite good and uh, it gives you the hint of that strawberry. Remember that um, with the strawberry, because this is pink, some shops would probably use a green tea, but even though I use black tea in this one, it's still showing the strawberryness, which is the pink color. So you have the choice of whether to use black tea or green tea. Now this is my chocolate milk tea. With the chocolate milk tea is perfect with black tea. Let me give it a try. Chocolate bubble tea using my homemade chocolate syrup. The good thing about using homemade chocolate syrup is that I know exactly how it tastes like. There's nothing synthetic about it and it tastes so chocolatey and perfectly blends with my black tea. And finally, this brown sugar bubble tea, one of the best sellers in many of bubble tea shops. Absolutely delicious. The tea is strong even though it was brewed from the espresso machine. and in a speed bar that means it took me less than a minute to brew this whereas the other two with a fresh press at least 15 minutes with a tea sauce strainer also at least 15 minutes but with an espresso machine you can brew it in advance and you can keep the brewed tea for at least three days i hope this video tutorial is useful for you if you would like to learn more about making delicious bubble tea making different permutations changing the tea changing the milk changing the sweetener you can come to my workshop in bangkok we do have a full schedule now from april to september of this year do check out the website for details on when each of these courses will take place in the meantime don't forget to click that subscribe button and stay tuned for more of these video tutorials thank you for watching ciao for now it is still showing that strawberryness of it the strawberry strawberryness it's still showing the strawberryness, which is the pink color.